All right, today's the day. Your ebook is done and ready to get out to the world on Google Play. How do you do that? That's exactly what I'm gonna show you in today's tutorial. Stay tuned. Hi, I'm MK Williams. I'm an author and independent publisher. I love sharing my insights about all things books and publishing with you. Before I get into the details of today's video, don't forget to hit subscribe. You'll be notified each week as I release new videos on publishing, making a career to being an author, and now being a mompreneur. And this video is for authors who are looking to self-publish their ebook on Google Play Books. So I'm gonna be showing you today exactly how I'm uploading the second edition ebook for my novel, Enemies of Peace. It really needed a makeover, and I'm so grateful to Formatted Books for doing that for me. Thank you so, so much. So because I'm doing a second edition, this video is gonna feature two separate segments. One where I'm just uploading it as though it's a regular book because that's part of the process. And then there'll be a second part of the video for anybody doing second editions that you can follow along with so you'll know halfway through if you need to cut or continue watching, okay? Now, before you do anything, um, these are the things that you need to have before uploading your book to Google Play. So first you need to have the finished interior file, which is an EPUB file. You need to have your finished cover file as a JPEG or PNG. You need to know your ISBN, your book description, your pricing plan, and your categories and keywords. Now I always recommend when I'm doing these tutorials, have my video up on one screen and have your Google Play Books instance on the other. You can literally follow along click for click. Okay, let's get to it. Hello friends, we are back at it again, uploading a second edition of Enemies of Peace, this time to the Google Play uh, bookstore. Um, so I'm gonna show you start to finish how to upload a new ebook. Now, whether you're doing a brand new book or a second edition like me, it's the same process. Um, so we're gonna click add the ebook. Um, and at the very end, I'm gonna show you how you would deactivate but still link the previous editions, okay? So I'm gonna add a book. Oh my gosh. Sell a book on Google Play book idea I have my own ISBN and I'm gonna copy and paste I always suggest where possible copy and paste this important stuff like the ISBNs or the book title um, because you're excited um, you might transpose some numbers or some letters and just like it's hard to get your name changed on your birth certificate it's really hard to get the name changed on your book <laughs> after you've hit publish okay so the title, first question, easy peasy, add your title. You can add a subtitle. Um, so if that's something you're concerned about, you can always add that. ISBN, boop, publisher, me, ebook, page count. I'm giving the print page count because just because it's an estimate, obviously ebook page counts are different. Today, today related books so this is very important if you're doing a series or if like me you're doing a um, second edition so I'm gonna add a related book how is this book related part of includes replaces so I need the ID for that book it's this one okay so I'm pretty much saying this is the second edition of this book. BSAC. So again, I can start to just type um, and save those. I'm gonna add another one, okay? So, suspense. Now, just like um, I also did an Ingram Spark upload, so they also use the BSAC one. So those are the same standard codes um, that you'll see across. Amazon is different. It's a different piece. It has its own separate categories. For the most part, they're going to line up with books, um, but Amazon has some niche categories. But for Google Play, for Ingram Spark, you're using the same BSAC categories, which is very nice. Save and continue. Google is so good, so user friendly. Again, it is the obviously, you know, industry leader in user experience. So, MK Williams, that's me. I'm the author. I am adding a contributor because I do have a forward. Um, forward by forward writer. 
Now, for these biographies, I can go back and update these at any time and add them in. Um, so the stuff that you really can't change is the title of the book, the ISBN, some of that like super important base information. Um, the other stuff like the cute, like um, any keywords, categories, um, bios, you can update that and manage that. Save and continue. Okay, now this book is not part of a series for me, but this is the page where you would pick that. Um, if I was uploading a book to an existing series, existing series, if it's going to be part of a new series, or maybe just book one is up and this is book two, so I haven't made a series page yet, I would click the new series. Um, but I don't need to do that today, but if that is applicable to you, go ahead and click there. Continue. Settings, yes. Going ahead with the DRM. All right, I'm going to go ahead and click continue and save. Now it looks like, wait, this is the end. It's not just book info. Then we're going to go to content and pricing. Okay. Content upload a file. So I just need to upload an ebook file. It says I can drag and drop. This is new. This is new because in the past you had to, in the past you had to bring, you had to go and browse. And if you dragged and dropped, it would get very mad at you. So I am going to try this and see if it messes anything up. I can drag and drop now. Thank you. Thank you to whoever at Google Play watched my previous upload tutorial and complained about that. And I'm sure there were other people complaining, but I'm just going to say it was me. Close. Beautiful. Okay. And I'm also going to make sure that the cover is in there. Okay. Cool. So it has a cover. I have the EPUB file. Beautiful. Continue pricing. Now I set the same price across platforms um, and that's set for the world pricing there. I could show additional settings, um, like I can make it effective certain dates. So if I wanted to do pre-order pricing, if I wanted to do special sales pricing, I could do that in here and I could set it and not have to worry about it later. I'm not going to do that today, but if you wanted to do that, you absolutely could. Save and continue. Okay, so I waited, what was that, three or four minutes. I checked to see if Taylor Swift was at the Chiefs game, and she is. I don't even root for the Chiefs, but I root for Taylor Swift. Um, and in the time, it looks like they processed the cover files. It says I have two cover files because I was silly and uploaded it twice. The thing with Google Play is that sometimes you have to wait a minute for it to catch up. So it's making me go back through my prices page. Yep, that's fine. And now I'm going to go back to my review page and look, everything's showing, and I can hit publish. Yay! Um, now, it usually just take a minute to publish. Um, so it's going to go back to this page. It's going to say needs action. You need to take action. You don't need to take any action. It does this every time. Um, so we can relax. Um, now is a great time to tell you about the sponsor for today's video, Formatted Books. This amazing team formats books. Whether you need an ebook or print interior or both, this team gets the files right. So when you upload them to the major self-publishing platforms, they are accepted the first time. They now also do cover art, so this can be your one-stop shop as an author to get the design for your book done. And they charge self-publishing prices for those of us who are all footing the expenses first. I love working with formatted books, and I hope you'll give them a try too. Look at the amazing work they've done for my books. I can't wait to see what they can do for you too. It usually goes away within 24 hours. It's just because it's processing everything on the back end. Um, obviously, when I went through the review, there were no more bright red exclamation points. It's just here. Um, so I can not worry about that. Okay. And to confirm for you all that I do know what I'm talking about, it has been not even 24 hours and Enemies of Peace is now showing correctly. It's live on Google Play. No action was actually needed. It just takes a minute. So now you know if you're seeing that alert, just give it a day. Even mine was over a holiday. It only took a day. All right. Okay, and next I'm going to show you the steps that I have to link and remove my first edition. So if you aren't doing that, I'll see you later. Don't forget to subscribe. All the second edition folks, follow me. So this is the new edition of Enemies of Peace, has the Ford in it now, has um, updated cover. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find the old Enemies of Peace, okay? I'm going to click into this file, okay? I'm going to click Change Status, and that status is to deactivate. Okay, I don't want people to buy the first edition anymore with the old DIY cover that looks like a DIY cover. I want them to only look at the new cover. Okay, so I'm going to hit save um, and that's going to be that. So it won't be available for sale on Google Play anymore. Got it. Deactivate. Boom. Done. All right, and then I can exit out and we're done. It doesn't even show up on my list anymore. Okay. 
All right, and that's how you do it. What other questions do you have about self-publishing on Google Play Books? Let me know in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, please don't forget to give it a like, subscribe, or even hit that shiny new thanks button. That tells YouTube that you got value from this information, and then they can get it in front of other authors like us. Now you can get back to writing your book.